for the realm. Feels different somehow. You lack the power you accumulated, but not the knowledge. Time to shine. Just getting started for the evening, are you, Sunshine? Don't know about you, but I've got a good feeling about how this is going to go. no more. with Kronos for so long that we've begun to doubt that anything can meaningfully change. I wonder, Flower, can you truly rid us of this blight? Desolation. stronger. you had prevailed. Though, not yet, it seems. A sign of progress, nonetheless. Press on. Vested in me. This is the Titan's fault.
little coin to trade. May moonlight guide you. Can't pay for much right now. renewed. wishes to see the outcome of this particular arrangement then? Another trial, Headmistress. My magic may be weakened, but you taught me never to depend on it entirely. And whether you took such lessons to heart, we shall imminently see. As Selene be our witness above, so shall chaos below.
You'll continue to grow, whilst I continue thusly testing you. Did what I had to do. These chaos trials, we're not changing reality too much, are we, Freynos? You're always here for me. Ooh. You know, Mel, you can be a bit uptight sometimes. Where did you even get that from? Even that witch is more relaxed than you. Look, I'm under a lot of pressure right now, all right? Everybody's counting on me to literally kill time. So I would like this tent to be an orderly place, seeing as I'm having to return so often. Eh, so what? Killing time's my specialty. Don't see me again all worked up. Ugh. Moonlight guide us. We'll get through this. Oh, hell, goddess. I uh, didn't notice your approach. Half inclined to blame the onset of the years, but I have no such excuses in this state. I didn't mean to startle you, Odd. How's the mood been around here? Everything all right? The mood and everything is well enough. Our ranks swell with shades moved by the tale that the Princess of the Underworld has returned with vengeance on her mind. Nothing like a bit of sworn vengeance to inspire the masses. Though, what about you? Everything's shipshape with me, especially after a brief reprieve right here. Be well, Goddess. You too. I'm most grateful, Goddess, and expect to knock this back at the Diverner at the soonest opportunity. No rush. Just as long as you enjoy it when that opportunity presents itself. <laughs> it was quite a fight. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. So, the Arms of Night have revealed to you some of their former selves. Or future selves, perhaps? Few have earned the right to bear such weapons. Much less take advantage of their different likenesses. The various aspects I've discovered. Some of the bearers I know well. Medea, Artemis. They're all connected to you, aren't they? is not as simple as you may presume. You bear a set of artifacts whose aim is to safeguard the underworld. Each aspect is of somebody who played a part in this, or shall. It seems I'm in good company. Where'd Nemesis go? Take care, then. Attention! Allay your fears. She has returned. Your path is fraught, young one. 
Know that I am always here to let you vent all your anger and frustrations upon, as well as to train with. The greatest teacher is out there. Sussy. More to be done up here. This is my path. Salutations. Darkness guide you. I call upon the moon and draw you down. My moonbeams are as innumerable as the stars, and you possess but one. But it is one I chose especially for you, and shall ensure that our connection remains strong. Behold my light. Night bloom. Greater victories. didn't you sunshine i thought your birthright meant you couldn't live up here you're just full of surprises so headed this way let me help something's different this time gently now Barely held together city is a labyrinth of streets, some barricaded still, yet others not, each horror-filled, night after endless night. So many mortals lived and died in such a place. Let's get the lay of the land. Together we shine. Together we shine. How long have you resided here, Lady Medea? I thought all our forces fled once the city was overrun, but you seem rather comfortable. Oh, yes. All the death and panic made for many vacancies. I slipped in through the shadows soon after the city fell and remained, practicing, observing. Great Hecate has eyes upon the surface everywhere. Next 
pile on then. You wretches. Another pile on. Finished here. Good. Tell him I said, hey, we've not collaborated much as before, what with everything of late. I miss those times. I suppose. After we put the Titans in their place, though, he went down into your underworld and I drifted away like a spark from a flame. I see something for you. Some bronze. Your soul be damned, traitor. Some mortals are such fools to be enticed by the promise of a new golden age. When Kronos ruled, it was a time of peace, they claim. No war or strife. And no advancement or society either. The path of progress isn't paved.
Neutrinos, hypnotize. See you in the crossroads. You should be able to get out. At last. Coin for Charon. In the name of Hades. wanted me to tell you, hey, my lord. A message he'd surely deliver himself if he could, though he seems well enough. <laughs> of course, my lord. Moonlight guide us. Clarity. Heard you were back. Are you the one responsible for that spectral barrier at the city gates? It has the markings of Kronos all over it. And you seem to be the extra backup in case it fails. No, that thing, yeah. I knew it never hold. But they keep fixing it anyway. Almost like somebody out there don't want you here. one would help. <laughs> Just a little night sea journey. What's to fear? If this treat is to your liking, then it means we share a bond. We do. Your name is Tula, isn't it? 
Let us protect each other from now on. This way. Need to get closer. One with Cellini. world's power. Cherry pit and sprig of mint. Coiled vine and peat of fens. Sugar beets and egg of hens. Lichen garlic, bark of pine. Dash of oil, drop of wine. Moly petals, hive a lot. Boil, simmer in my pot. <laughs> oh, you're back. Salutations, madam. And to you. Madam Cersei, I'm grateful that we had a chance to meet again after all this time. Your kindness to me always meant a lot, and I wanted to give you this small token in return. Nectar! Oh! Oh, thank you, little miss. I've made attempts to brew my own, but never get it right. So why don't you take this in kind? Think of it as a little island souvenir. It's beautiful and quite adorable. Thank you. Our Lady.
Lady Hecate would sometimes tell me of your progress and let on that you were tuned to the altar of ashes at long last. <laughs> How marvelous, for the Arcana have so much to offer us. I couldn't agree more. Through grasping the Arcana, I've discovered strength I never realized I had. To think I used to use our altar merely to collect my thoughts. Collecting one's thoughts is valuable enough. Mine own, at least, are prone to scattering. As for your innate strength and magical acuity, perchance we shall discover even more. suggests the depth of her ability, whether as a practitioner of ancient arts or as a cook. I can breathe freely here. Salutations. Hello. Your arm never got better, did it? I'm really sorry. I should never have put you on the spot. Not your fault. I had grown very confident in my abilities. Headmistress always said there was no way to make shades whole again, but I thought otherwise. Overextended. Learned a lesson I'm not going to forget. I felt so bad. I couldn't look at anybody in the crossroads anymore. Thought I'd never see you again. Let it be for the best. I had a lot I needed to sort out. And how did it go? You learned to fly, at least. Top of your list of fears, conquered. With your father's wings, no less. These wings are mine, Millie. And that was all part of it. I had to learn to do things for myself, like you did. And for what it's worth, I still think your arm looks amazing. Now, here. choice. 
Thanks. Death to Kronos. Olympus, I accept this message. Set a course. Stand down. Please, Freenos. There. Fair trade. I just want us both to take a moment to breathe, relax, really just appreciate all that we have. These senseless fights with you, I cannot rightly say I appreciate them at all. Though at least the moon is beautiful tonight. That's the spirit. Now how about we stain that pale glow of hers in blood and ichor, huh? And we'll let the sea drink its fill for good measure.
see you strive. A golden apple. From the summit of Olympus, Titan-slaying Witch Milenoe regards the world to which the gods lay claim, and she decides this precious world which we all share is perfect, just the way it is. Return to Shadow now. You knew I could do it, didn't you, Freenos? Don't let me get you down. You know how late it is? Dora, I was thinking, if I promise not to be so uptight, as you call it, would you promise not to move my belongings about when I'm away? How dare you make demands of me, you insignificant fleck! Mm, nope, no deal. Wanna be uptight? Go ahead. Don't stop on my account. You just want to keep messing with my stuff. Hmm, that's right. Heard the good news. A pitch black stone has been here this entire time, and I failed to detect it. I fear I'm beginning to slip up more often than acceptable. It was inert just recently, Lord Moros, until your grandparent gave me an idea for how to see the possibilities within. Though, perhaps I ought to have checked with you first. You're troubled. Well, it's just... Chaos and my sisters didn't always get along. Chaos wanted everything to be possible, while the fates, their desire is for things a certain way. But, they would all agree that you should use the stone as you see fit. Nothing like a pitch black stone to bring the family together, right? Right. What's all the commotion? Is this what you want, Eris? To have our aimless clashes, only then to sneer at one another here again and again? Such a worthy cause. Who are you to say what makes a worthy cause? Cause yeah, I happen to be quite all right with everything. It's genuinely been a real blast. You're unbelievable. Thanks, Trouble. Moonlight guide you, Shades. You finally returned. Begging your pardon, Shades. I found Circe the Enchantress on my route toward Olympus. More likely, she found me. She hasn't changed a bit from what I recall. You have her keeping watch over the seas? That I do. Selene takes to water like a cat, while Circe hails from the sea. Thus has it been a good arrangement for a while. I trust Cersei's work retains its potency. She's been great. May moonlight guide us. And may shadows conceal us. Up and about? Your little garden there has cheered this old place up a bit, goddess. In trying times, such simple pleasures often first to fade. Precisely when they're needed most. Thank you, and pleased to hear it, great tactician. Though, I'd not expected a mere flower patch to leave such an impression on someone like you. Come now, all I do is pay attention to details. Victory comes to those whose hearts are predisposed. I mean, look at us, our spirits are quite literally all we have. And now flowers. Help keep an eye on them for me, would you? Of course. Moonlight guide us. We'll find our way. Hey. Showed Eris, didn't you? 
could hear her crying practically from here. Been far too long since last I kicked her ass myself. At least somebody's picked up the slack. Perhaps all of those savage fights between you two contributed to her disagreeable nature. Or yours, for that matter. Unless you're certain neither one of you has changed a bit, in which case, what was all the fighting even for? You've met her. She always liked picking fights. And you've met me. I've never liked backing down from them. As for you, go learn to take a compliment next time. I must have missed it. Sure did. May Moonlight guide you. Nice try. I'll take it. Lord Moros, as our honored guest, um, we wanted you to have this, to make your stay a bit more comfortable. The Nectar of the Gods. Thank you, Princess. I've not received an offering before, though I do like to come prepared. So here, from me to you. How thoughtful. I accept. Peace, Lord Moros. Night protect you. All grown up. Huh. Our garden flourishes. Here you'll grow strong. Divinity. Night. Bid you welcome to the vanguard of the underworld. Observe how patient my disciples are, studying your every move. If ever you're inclined to give them a demonstration of your prowess, or just want to blow off some steam, do not hesitate to wail upon me. Wail upon, sir? Sir, that's no walking stick? The oath calls to me. <laughs> Awaken hidden power. What secrets do you keep? You made it. Eh. 
is a good girl. With me, Tula. The gifts of the veil. Pin.